Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're watching this video, you probably want to know how to get a yellow fever vaccination card, also known as an international certification of vaccination for yellow fever in Nigeria. You may also be traveling to a country that requires one. For those that do not know, yellow fever vaccination certificate, also known as the yellow card, is required for travel arriving from countries with risk of yellow fever transmission, which Nigeria is one of. Countries such as Ghana, Tanzania are very, very strict and require Nigerians to actually have a yellow fever card. I recently tried to get my daughter a yellow fever card. And bear in mind that she already took the vaccine sometime last year. She just didn't have that certificate that is needed for travel. She got her vaccination done somewhere at a private hospital here in VI. Um, but it's key to note that the hospital does not actually issue the official yellow card. After a run around, like I was sent to like Lagos Highland Hospital and a bunch of other places, I was able to figure out exactly what the exact process was. I wanted to share this information with you so that you don't have to waste any of your time. Let's get straight into the video. Firstly, what you have to do is go onto the website www.yellowcardnigeria.com and on this website, you have to register. You insert your personal information, your name, your surname, your mobile number, your passport number, email address, and then you make a payment of 2,000 Naira using the online payment options available on the site. Once your payment is confirmed, you receive a unique high decode. You will also then receive a payment reference from Remita, who I believe are the ones that are doing the payment processing online. It's important for you to store this information. Perhaps take a screenshot of it and save this information onto your phone. The next thing you have to do is physically go to the Port Health Services, which is located on Airport Road near the Mutala Mohamed International Airport. If you Google, go on Google Map and you just put Port Health Services, F-M-O-H, you will be able to easily locate it. Key to note that the building is right after the toll gates, but if you want to avoid paying for the toll, there's actually a car park opposite the building where you can park your car and walk a few minutes to the building. Once you arrive at the compound of the building, um, speak to one of the security people there and tell them that you're trying to get a yellow fever card. They will direct you to a window. When you get to this window, there are instructions on sort of like the window, I guess on the window itself, like pasted A4 documents on there. And there are also two people that are seated beside a computer um, registering people. So what you have to do here is to provide your physical valid passport. It's important that your passport actually valid. If it's not valid, I don't think they'll be able to issue you with the yellow fever card. So it's important you provide a physical valid passport, whether Nigerian or not, and also provide proof of your payment. It's key to note that I actually provided for my daughter her vaccination proof from the hospital that she had taken the yellow fever vaccine before because I didn't take her along because I know she didn't have to take the vaccine again. I just needed to give them proof. So what they did then was to take a scan of my, her passport page, um, the payment information and also the proof of, proof of vaccination. So once they scan all this information, they charged me 200 Naira for the photocopying fees. What they then do is give you this scan um, copy of your passport, everything on one page, and ask that you put your phone number, your email address, and also your physical address to write it all on that particular A4 piece of paper. After your payment has been confirmed, once they've registered your information here, they then tell you to go into the building and go to the reception. So when you get to the reception, what you do is actually just provide um, that piece of paper that had been given to you directly to the person at reception. Um, I remember when I gave the guy the document, he just told me to sit down. I said to him, how long is it going to take? He said that it depends on the network and the network is very unpredictable. So they can't really say a specific time. So at this stage, if you have to take the vaccine, what happens is you are told to 
sit with a certain group of people, people that are also working to take the vaccine, and then the head nurse actually gives a briefing. And in this briefing I overheard, she informs you of what exactly the yellow fever um, vaccination is all about, who are exempted from doing it, like pregnant women, breastfeeding mothers, and some elderly people who are exempted from doing it. Um, she then also advises that if you're you know, taking a COVID vaccination, you should give some time and not take it, maybe take it a week later. Right. She then also informed people to take photos once, that once they receive the yellow fever vaccination card, they should take photocopies of it and store this information on their phone. She said it's very important because if you lose your yellow fever card, you may have to take the vaccination again, um, unless if you have proof that you've done it before and you have the documentation proof, you can come back and they can reissue you um, another certificate. After you know everyone took their vaccination injection it was very quick it was actually like in an open air place the same sort of room we're all in they give them the vaccinations then you just have to sit and wait to get your yellow fever card overall i was impressed with the process of getting my yellow fever card for my daughter um, the people that were there were super polite they were professional um, they were swift into working they weren't lazy i was actually in one of the few governments i get services that I've been impressed by how swift, quick, and just polite that people were there. From the security guard to everyone that attended to me, were super polite. Um, I really hope you find this video informative and it helps you on your journey to get a yellow fever card in Nigeria. If you found it useful, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a huge thumbs up, and I'll see you on my next video.